Today, we're going to learn about reflection. If you enjoy this video, initiate a mouse click over the like button and subscribe. You're going to be asked about reflection in a programming interview. Now, reflection allows you to inspect class metadata and even run methods dynamically. But what does that even mean? Well, I was invited to a Dungeons and Dragons game with my coworkers, and I'll show it to you in action. Okay, welcome to my Dungeons and Dragons game. I'm Sporty Ryan. Let's see who we have here. We have Posh Ryan, Seymour, Regular Ryan, and Circleback Jack. So what characters do you want to be? I'll be the cleric. I want to be the wizard. Can I be a heavy weapons infantryman? How about a fighter? Fighter's good. I want to be a project manager, bro. Circleback Jack, there's no project manager character. Well, what character is sneaky and can double cross and backstab? How about a thief? I ain't no thief. The only thing I steal are the hearts of Delta Zetas. Make me a project manager character or I'm not playing. Circle back when you're done. Peace out, nerds. Adding a new character could be difficult. All of my characters are hard-coded in enums. Can you help me refactor this, regular Ryan? Sure, let me see the problem. Well, I created an abstract character class because all of the characters have common abilities like attack or defend. But different characters have special abilities. So let's say a character attacks a monster from behind. I use this switch statement and character enum to determine what kind of character is doing the attack. If it's a thief, he gets a special bonus called a backstab. If it's a wizard or a fighter, they just do a regular attack. I'll have to create a new project manager enum, and then I'll have to create a copy of the thief class and call it a project manager, and just make sure the project manager can backstab. Then I'll have to go back to that switch statement and. Make sure that project manager is added in the switch statement with the backstab ability. And I have to do that everywhere I have an enum in a switch statement that deals with characters. Have you thought about using reflection? Yeah, but reflection is so complicated. It's actually easier than you think. Now, enums can be dangerous because they cause you to sprinkle switch statements all over your code. You don't need an enumeration to detail your character type because your character type is already indicated right here in your derived class. So you can use reflection to peek at the character type and attributes and perform actions based on the kind of character you have. So let's look at those inherited classes. So project manager can backstab and thief can backstab, but the wizard doesn't have a backstab method. The fighter doesn't have a backstab method. The cleric doesn't have a backstab method. We can work with this. Let's create a better combat class. And down here, if you notice rear attack, we're going to change rear attack so that any character with a backstab will automatically backstab. And if you don't have a backstab, you'll just do a regular attack. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use reflection to get the type of the current character. I'm going to put that into character type. Now I'm going to check to see if the character type has a method called backstab. Remember, project manager has backstab. Now let's check to see if backstab method info is null. If it's null, then this is not a character that can backstab, so just do the regular attack. But if it's not null, we can use the power of reflection to create a backstab character instance and then invoke this method of backstab. So let's see this in action. I created a fighter named Ryan, I created a project manager named Circleback Jack, and both characters are going to do a rear attack. Let's see what happens. When Ryan does the rear attack, his character attacks. When the project manager attacks, he backstabs. I can create a backstabbing salesperson or a backstabbing test engineer. As long as they have the backstab method, they'll always stab you in the back. And the only code change you have to make is in the derived class. Reflection is a core concept in C-sharp. If you're asked about reflection in an interview, I like to use the mnemonic D-simple, which stands for dynamically see and invoke members and properties for loading and examination. Remember this mnemonic, practice some reflection on your own, and good luck on your next interview. Now let's get back to the game. A flaming stakeholder appears and smashes through the door, pushing you onto the bridge. A yawning chasm appears below. What do you do? A uh, cleric tells the stakeholder that making the change will add risk. I'll just do whatever the stakeholder wants and circle back next sprint. Uh, the fighter tells the stakeholder that we're going to make that change in phase two, so it doesn't make sense to add it now. I'm not doing it. It'll break my unit tests and then they shall 